we finally got one. We're barely into this sifter. And this might be the point of the day, unless we pull something better out. Right there. We're back out on the kayak tonight. It's been raining pretty hard. Fast, hard rains that didn't last long. And I'm hoping these beaches will be washed off good. We're gonna come in here, do a little surface hunting, maybe break out the sifter, see what we can find. You're not gonna believe this. I pulled up and I thought maybe a piece of metal or something, that was triangle shaped, so I picked it up. All right, right as I got out of the boat. Already got a little triangle. That's pretty cool. Put it right in there. We'll get the boat tied up and then we'll get looking for real. Well, I've been looking around and I haven't seen anything surface hunting. So we're just gonna go ahead and get the sifters out. The water's a little too high. There's not as much surface to hunt as I thought there would be. All right, we just dumped a sift. A bunch of pieces of flint. It's kind of weird spider. Don't know where he came from, but uh, Oh yeah, there it is. Got some animal teeth. And we did find a piece. It's the busted middle. It's been the tip up here of my fingers wiggling. And then the bottom's gone. But both sides are worked on that. So that's number two for today. Pretty cool. Yeah, we got a storm rolling in. There's nothing I can do about it. The wind's already here. Might as well sit over here. Looks like it's going to be a quick one. Do a little bit of digging and sifting and hope it goes by. Oh, I was in the middle of sifting and I heard meow. I turned around. River cat come down to see us. He's a good old boy. He belongs to a guy that let us in here to dig. And he's just a real sweetheart. He comes down and sees us from time to time. I don't know. He's awful skinny right now. He comes around sometimes when that guy's around. Maybe he's not that guy's cat. Maybe he's just a stray. I think we'll bring some food in here for him next time. We come in here a lot. Usually about every week, every other week. We'll bring you a little bite to eat next time, buddy. All right, he had to interrupt me just a second ago. I made a little short of it, but he got in my sifter and stood right in the middle of it until I patted him. Here he comes again. More pets. I guess we can take a little break from artifacts and visit with you, huh? All right, it ain't much. It's the cor bottom left corner or bottom right corner. Actually, no, that side's worked too. It's just the bottom to a real tiny triangle. This is number three today. We still got a little looking through here. We might find something else. All right, I'm a third of the way through this sift here. Probably my sixth or seventh sift. I'm not too sure. And found me another busted bottom. That one's pretty beat up. That's the way it goes out in the water when you're sifting. Most of the triangles you find, they're missing the tips on them. They're just way too fragile and they break when they get down there and they wash around. But we're only a third of the way through this, so hopefully we'll find something else before we're done in it. All right, now we're about a little over halfway and we got the inverse. Now we've got the tip busted off. All right, so that's two for this sift, and we're not done yet, so hopefully we'll get a third one. All right, we do have a third one. I maybe scooped three or four small handfuls out. I don't know if you can see it right there. And this one looks like it might be whole. Oh, that one's kind of concave on the bottom. I wonder if it's one of them Levana points maybe. I'm not too sure. I'll have to look at this one when we get home. Notice how it's curved on the bottom? That's not typical for them to curve in like that. At least not to my knowledge. We'll bust out the overstreet and look at that when we get home. 
No, Roddy, the water's gotten a tiny bit choppy because the storm rolled through and it's starting to get a little late. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give three more sifts. I'm going to make sure they're really good, big, piled up sifts. And then we're going to call it a night. Hopefully we can end it on a high note. All right, we're in sift number two of three. We've just found some debitage so far. River cat's back. He's mad that I won't come over and pet him. I'll pet you when we leave, buddy. Right now, i got to finish sifting. All right, so I don't think we got anything in that one. Just a bunch of debitage. So we're going to start sift three. I've got to have me a walk-off homer. I don't want to end it on a bad note. We've got some flint in there. So I'm going to fill this thing about as much as I've ever filled one on the last sift. And hopefully, we'll pull off a miracle. All right. It took about 15 minutes to get this one. It's full of good rocks and a new spot over here in front of the tree. Uh, a couple months ago, we found a lot of stuff out in front of this tree. And I haven't dug it since. So hopefully, we'll pull some good ones out of here. All right. We got a couple pieces of debitage. But we finally got one. We're barely into this sifter, and this might be the point of the day, unless we pull something better out. Right there. It's like a stemmed. It's been worked all the way down. Or maybe it was an old corner notch and those notches are gone. I'll wash it off. That's a nice piece though. All right, that's a good way to end the day. Even if we don't find anything in the rest of this, right there. Walk off Homer. All right, I think the only point or artifact that we found was that one there on top. But there are a couple pieces of interest that look like they're worked. We'll set them off to the side and uh, we'll take a look at them out here on the river. All righty, we had us a pretty good night on the river. Got all this debitage over here. I couldn't find that piece that I thought was worked. It's in there. I just don't know where at. I'm trying to be careful out here on the river. But uh, not a bad handful of debitage. And then we got some great pieces in here. Sad most of them are broke. And then we got a couple what ifs. Those bottom two are what ifs right there. Just a really good day on the river. Piece-wise, one of my highest numbers ever. Now, you always get a lot of broke triangles in there. It's an old Ford Ancient site. And we got a lot of them. We've got this one here that I'm not sure. It's just, you could tell it's worked on that side and that side. It's missing the tip and it's missing the base. Not too sure what it would have been. Big old triangle right there missing its top. Another triangle missing its top. A top missing its bottom. Nice sharp little point there. Then I got these points here. They look almost like they're... Or I don't know if they're points. I didn't mean to call them that. But just pieces that look worked. I don't know. That one just caught my eye. They have a possible blank for one of those old triangles. And then this one seems like it's worked around the edge like it's a scraper. But I could be wrong. And then right off the bat, we walked in and we found that triangle. It's missing the tip at the end. That's not a bad find there. We found this triangle almost in perfect shape. And the bottom's concave, like it curves in. And to my knowledge, that's not common. That might be a Levanna point, but it also might just be a Ford Ancient that I'm just not really familiar with or Madison. And we got that nice bad boy right there in the last sift. I thought it might have been a little stem point. It looks like it's a little worn down side notched point. See the napping right there. Really nice. But that's the day for today. We had a great time over here. And we found a lot of good stuff. A lot more than I thought. The water was way up. So I'm really glad with the results today. If you guys like this video, remember to like and subscribe. And we'll see you out on the river next time. Have a good one.